welcome to singing time. My name is Sister Bird and this week before we get into singing Talia's favorite song, I want to talk about something with you. I want you to think about something that was new for you this past week. Now, maybe you tried something new that you've never done before. Maybe you walked somewhere new. You went on a walk and you got to explore a new space. Maybe you learned something new at school this past week, or maybe you got something new. Just think about something new in your life. And and maybe it's not this past week. Maybe it's this past little while. Just think about that, okay? Do you have one in mind yet? If you don't, keep thinking. But I'm going to share my new thing this week. So this past week, I got new glasses. I have had glasses since I was one and a half years old. Can you raise your hand if you're over the age of one and a half? That's everyone, isn't it? It's everyone in primaries over one and a half. (laughs) So I have had glasses longer than every, like earlier than everyone else here. So that might seem like it's not something new, but I get new frames sometimes. And they're really fun for me because I wear these things all the time. It would be like getting a new pair of socks if you only ever wore one pair of socks. It is exciting. But new things can also be a little scary, can't they? New things, might we, we might not know what to do with new things. We might not know how to do whatever it is with new things. And it can, it can be scary because maybe we get a little embarrassed learning new things because we don't know everything. But getting new things, trying new things, doing all these new things can also be really fun. I was really excited to get new glasses, even though I had the scary pieces of, well, I like how they look on my face all the time. Will my eyes adjust to new glasses? I don't know, but it's fun because they're new. So new things are fun. I want you to give yourself a little hug and just close your eyes and tell yourself, I am so glad I get to try new things and I get to push myself outside of things I'm comfortable with so I can get comfortable with more things and just thank yourself for being so brave trying new things. And I hope this next week, When you come across new things, if they seem scary, or even if they're super exciting and you're really excited to do it, that you stop and hug yourself and you say, oh, you're so brave, because you are. You are so brave trying new things and doing new things and getting new things. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's sing Talia's favorite song today. Her favorite song, and this is what we're starting off singing time with, is Teach Me to Walk in the Light. Are you excited for this? How can this relate to new things? Because you have to be taught how to do things. And so it's fantastic coming to singing time. We learn new things together. Sometimes it's songs. Sometimes it's just little things in life, like hugging yourself and telling yourself how brave you are trying new things. So let's sing this song together. And if you don't know it, I hope that you can just hum along with the melody with us. So thank you, Talia, so that we get to sing this today. Teach me to walk in the light of His love. such a special song. So glad that we sang it today and we get to celebrate 
Talia for suggesting it. Thank you so much. So today is also our first Sunday in February. Are you excited about that? Is that just seem, that's a normal month. Who cares? I want you to think about what are some things that we get to do in February? What are some special things about February? Well, February is the shortest month of the year. It, on big years, has 29 days, but this year, I had to double check, I have a calendar right next to me, has 28 days. So it's the shortest month of the year. It is also Black History Month, which is really great. We get to celebrate all the really cool inventions and, and great things that Black people have, have brought into and helped bring America into this great country that we're living in. So super love that. And it's also the month that is Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays because it is all about love. And a lot of times we think Valentine's Day is mushy and gushy and all about kisses, but it doesn't need to be. Valentine's Day can just be celebrating all the people that bring so much love and joy into your life and the love and joy that you can bring into other people's lives. And that's why I love it. So we are going to sing Love One Another, and I'm going to bring in another video that helps do the sign language that goes along with this song. Now you might have learned this already, and if you did, I want you to sing and sign along with it. And if you haven't done this before, I want you to try and follow along with her. She's going to sing it twice. So let's enjoy that. special. I love how we can incorporate sign language into when we sing, and I wish I knew more sign language. If you ever want to help with an activity for family home evening, you can talk to your mom and dad about looking up different songs on the church website and seeing if they have ASL, which stands for American Sign Language, videos that go along with them. And you can learn the signs that go along with the words we sing for hymns and for lots of other primary songs. They don't have them for every song, but they have quite a few in there. The next song we're going to sing, it's, it's all about love too. It's how, it's all about Christ's love for us. Um, but there's also an ASL, American Sign Language video, just like the one we watched and sang along with that you can learn with this one. So if you're wanting something for family home evening, or maybe you just want to learn more about it, you can go check that out. 
So we are going to the song we're focusing on this month that we're really going to learn and get down is called I Stand All Amazed. And it is a really special song because it is all about just being in awe of how much Jesus Christ gave to us. And when I think about it and I really think about the words in this song, it it makes me want to just, it feels like I have a big hug from Christ around me because he sacrificed so much for us. He sacrificed his life for us. Whew, that feels really big, doesn't it? But I am going to sing through one verse of this song. And if you know it, I want you to sing it with me. But if you don't, that's okay because we're going to learn it this month. Um, and I want you to go grab a wand. Now, you may have a, a real wand, and if you have one, I want you to go grab it. Or you may have a pen. Here's a pen. Or you may have a hairbrush, or you may have a stick from outside, or you may have, I have a, um, a paintbrush, and that's going to be my wand today. And I'm going to sing this through once. And I want you to pull out your wand and just move it around however the music makes you feel. So if you're sitting, you can stand up and move your wand around or you can stay seated. You can spin in circles if that's how it makes you feel. However it makes you feel, I want you to move your wand. Okay, so I'm gonna sing along. see you moving, but I really wish I could to see what different movement that you brought. And you might think, well, Sister Bird, you didn't move your wand while you were singing. I just found it hard to try and focus on moving my wand and singing because uh, I have so many things going on. Um, but I hope that you moved your wand while you were singing. Now, this song has a lot of big words in it, and you might have heard some of them. Like, maybe you don't know what the word proffers means. I, that sounds like a, that sounds like offers, but proffers? What does that mean? Um, what is another one that was in here? There's just, just some big words that sound confusing, and we're going to talk about those. We're going to talk about those next week, but this week we're just feeling what the song makes us feel inside, whether we're listening to the words or whether we're just feeling the music. This, this song truly makes me feel like my life is very precious and that Christ cares and loves me. How does it make you feel? How did it make you feel while you were dancing and moving? We're going to sing it one more time today, and if you want to sing along with me, you can. And if you don't, that is okay too. You can just listen along. And this time I want you to twirl your wand, spin it, make circles with it, every time you hear 
a rhyme. So one example is in the first line, I end with offers me. And then at the next line, I say proffers me. So you would go, oh, that's a rhyme. I'm going to twirl my wand. Okay, so let me get this all set. We're going to sing it again. Notice two spots that there were rhymes, but you might have heard more. And that just means you were listening really, really well. Now we're going to put our wands away this week. I'm going to tuck mine right next to my computer here. Um, but you can either put it wherever you're watching this or just put it in a safe place because safe space, not a safe place. Safe space because next week we are going to pull out our wands again and we're gonna learn a little bit more and until next week I just want to remind you whenever you try do get something new when new things are around you I want to get I want you to give yourself a little hug and say I am so brave and then power on through whatever that new thing is and I will see you next Sunday bye